Hi everyone, my name is Saleh and in this video I'm going to be showing you how you can use the transfer tool for unmanaged users in Google Workspace Admin Console. This is a very common case with the organizations that are having users in thousands and sometimes even the medium organizations might have this case. And personally, I have encountered this case many times when I was working with customers to set up their new Google Workspace accounts and Admin Console. Basically, it's a case when users using their work email and when they register by themselves to use Google services and they set their username as their work email. Then once you are as an administrator and as the whole organization wants to start adapt Google Workspace, you will find out that there are some accounts, some usernames are being used by other people in your organization and you didn't know about this at all. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can handle this situation and how, what are the options that you can have for this. So stay tuned while I go through all of these options and points with you. And also please like the video so that it can reach more people who have this issue and are suffering from this because I really know the frustration from people about when you encounter something like this and something you didn't really expect. Transfer tool for unmanaged users. You might have heard of this or you might not. This is a special case that somehow is common with very large organizations or enterprises. The idea is some individuals might register with Google services with their personal accounts, but they would set the username of that account as their business email address. And when they create this account, they would be required to verify that email so when they register google will send them an, a verification email the, with a link that they have to click this link to verify the access to that email and that's it no dns required no text records required nothing <laughs> so many people can do this easily without even contacting the it and the it would not be aware about this this by itself is not an issue until you get to the moment when you want to register for Google Workspace and you will find out that there are some users who are using the same IDs but on some different unmanaged accounts that you absolutely have no idea about. Luckily, Google has made it easy for you to manage such cases and handle these conflicting accounts. And the way that you're going to find out is very awkward. So I have two cases that I'll be showing you now here. Um, let me show you how you as an admin will find out that, oh my God, I have this issue and I need to use the transfer tool for unmanaged accounts. So let me add a new user and let me type the, uh, just whatever name that I can type here. So, okay. And in the past, I know that I have used or I tried to create some sort of accounts to do some tests. And I still remember one of these accounts is called this. <laughs> now watch what is going to happen when I will click add a new user. You see, it's telling me that there is an existing account. Someone is using this account as unmanaged account. And it's giving me the option to choose one of these. It's either email the existing user with a transfer request. This is what I'm going to show you. The, the user who is using this account for his personal use, he will receive a notification that the organization admin is requesting you to give them full control over this account. Once they accept it, then they will be able to move or this account will show up in the admin console in your admin console and then you'll be able to fully manage this account and it will consume one google workspace license from your own organization the other option is you can still create this conflicting account as the user in your admin console but the existing user we the, the existing account that is using the unmanaged account that is using this username will be renamed to something like this, something very awkward. <laughs> and 
you might need to use this case when the transfer request that you would send initially is rejected by the individual here and he would not or he would refuse or they would refuse to grant you access and migrate their accounts into your Google Workspace organization. This way then you will forcefully take this username and you will use it in your account and that individual account will be renamed into this awkward thing. So I will be showing you this case and I will be showing you this case as well. So let me start with this one. I'm going to choose to send um, a transfer request. Then I will click continue. Now it's going to tell you that a transfer request has been sent to this guy. So I'm going to click done. Then if, if you have this notification right now, this is the transfer notification, which is something I will show you now. But let me take you back to the home page or to the dashboard of this admin console. And let me go to the transfer tool for unmanaged users. If you go inside it, you will see that there are actually two accounts in my domain. One is I will show you how you can take full control of by renaming the other account into something awkward. <laughs> And this is the one that I'm going to try to accept if I still remember the password <laughs> and then move it into the Google Workspace organization. And you can see in this view that there are the uh, some columns. There is the email, the request status. This is invited. So this guy should receive an invitation that the administrator is inviting you to move into their organization and the last invitation date or the last modification. You can either resend the request or cancel the request if you want. Then you can do it forcefully by the other approach. And if you want to do this in bulk, if you have a list of known accounts that you want to do them in bulk, then you can actually do it here. So this will download the list that you will see here. And then it will give you three columns. The first one is the email. The second one is the send transfer request. The third one is the cancel transfer request. So basically you will fill a list with the email addresses here and then you will put in front of each one yes to send the transfer request. And of course this should stay no so that the transfer request is not cancelled. And then you will attach the CSV file again. So now if I take you to my email and this is a catch all. I have to set up a catch all rule so that I receive the notification here. This is the notification that is sent to this individual account holder or the individual user. And as you can see, it's telling you that your IT admin is requesting you to transfer your Google account to the Google Workspace organization or account. This is the result of the transfer. You can expect that they will take full control of the account and some other services might not be accessible and so on. And they still give you the option to reject and decline this transfer account. When you do this, then your administrator or you as the administrator will be forced into just forcefully taking that account by going to users and then creating that user account and you know rename the old account into something very awkward. So this is the look of the notification that the users will receive. I'm not sure if I do accept or if I do open the transfer account here what will I see because I need to log in. So let me try to do it. So it's going to ask me to sign in. Unfortunately, I won't be able to sign in because this account is locked. I tried to sign in before with this account. It just blocked me and now I cannot sign in again with this. And it's basically an unmanaged account. Let me do the other way for this. So let me go to the admin console and type me. And then the account is me at my domain and let me remove this. So again, when I do add a new user, it's going to show me the dialogue that there is a user holding this account before. So I'm going to choose the second option, create a new user and forcefully rename the old account into something else. So now that's it. <laughs> I have the account here. It's already created. And if you go back to the unmanaged users or unmanaged accounts, you will find that one technically it should disappear from the list and when i refresh it should technically disappear from here or after a while you should see it disappeared from here because it is now sorted out and it's no longer under our domain 
Now, just before I finish this video, there are two important links that I want to leave you with. The first one is called Migrate Users with Conflicting Accounts. This is a very important read. It will give you a good introduction and a good overview. It's basically somehow related to what, I, what I've talked about now. It will give you the options, what you can do and how to you know, execute each option and all of that. And it's very important. It will give you some good follow-up articles on all of this. You really should be aware about this. The other link, which is linked in here as well, use the transfer tool to migrate unmanaged users. This is going to explain the actual steps and the actual information that you have to prepare and do in order to perform this activity. It will give you some sort of a checklist and some sort of a process that you can follow. It's really important and critical that you are also reading this. If you are a large organization, most likely you will have this case. I have seen a lot of organizations with even hundreds of users who are having this case and you don't need to talk about the thousands of users, those enterprises and the organizations. So it's very important and very critical that you know about this feature and it's existing in the admin console. And also it's important that you know how to use it when, whenever you need it. Okay, so that's it for this video. Hopefully you have learned something new today and this content was useful for you. Please like the video so that it can reach more people and also please subscribe to the channel and click that bell button so that you can be notified whenever I put any new content. Also if you are interested about more content related to Google Workspace and how to manage Google Workspace and how to administer Google Workspace then you might be interested with my Google Workspace admin training and course on Udemy. It's a very comprehensive course and a very detailed course actually and it's going to be all of the help that you need in order to do your daily management tasks and your daily administrative tasks in Google Workspace. It will talk about the email security, the user security and also what are the options to manage the services and all of these things that you can imagine in Google Workspace. If you are interested with that, then you can get it at a discounted price through the link in the video description. And I really look forward to get your feedback about this and about all of the content that I really put in YouTube or in Udemy. And without your feedback, I won't be able to, you know, improve anything or fix any problem around. And without your feedback, I won't be able to keep going and do what I'm doing right now. 